going with the topic applications of trigonometry in heights and distance which is one of the application of trigonometry so before going with the topic we need to get two words one is angle of elevation second one is angle of depression so first one angle of elevation so observe this this is the i generally where you can see from See, think that this is the object. This is the object. Then, if you want to see object at the point B, so there is no need to deviate our eye. You can see through this line, through this path. So there is no deviation of eye to see the object B, object at B. That means the line of sight and the horizontal drawn from the eye is same. So angle of elevation is zero here, zero degrees. But now the object is at C. Now object is at C. That means we have to elevate our eye upwards. That means generally this will be the horizontal line or parallel drawn to the eye, which is called horizontal line. And this is the line of the set. That means this is the line of sight. That so. There is an angle between horizontal line or parallel drawn from the eye and line of the side. This angle is nothing but angle of elevation. So going further, see one man is standing here, an object is being placed here. So we have to he have to elevate his eyes to spot the object. So this will be the line of the side as this is the ray passing from eye to object to make the object visible to him generally this is the line of horizontal that means which is parallel to i so he is elevating his eyes to see this object therefore this will be the angle of elevation if you see clearly again here in this diagram this is the eiffel tower one person want to observe the top of the eiffel tower so he is elevating his eyes to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Then the angle made between horizontal and theta is nothing but angle of elevation. This is angle of elevation. Now if you observe carefully, this is horizontal line. And always this line will be the perpendicular to the height of the object or height of the person. And if you join these lines, you will get a right angle triangle. A, B, C. So, if you want to find the height of the tower, so we you know what is your height is, is, and you can know the angle here, some theta, maybe sixty, and then you know angle here, and you know the distance between the person and the object let it be t so in trigonometry if you have one side of a triangle and one angle then we can get the other two sides easily so then we can find this length between a to b is x and height of the tower will be the x plus height of the object uh, height of the person so here h so x plus h will give the height of the tower okay let me deal with the angle of depression before we saw angle of elevation that means when we see the object which is above the person or above the eye then we have to elevate the eye to upwards which makes the angle of elevation now see object is below the eye see r is located below the eye that means we have to make the eye to downwards make the eye to downwards depress to the downwards so again obviously this will be the horizontal line there is no change here but the line of sight changes to downwards this is the line of sight now pr will be the line of sight now the angle made by the horizontal line and line of sight will be the angle of depression let me see one more thing see a girl standing at the top of the floor of his her house you see this is a high and this is the horizontal level and this is the line of sight to observe the ball here 
then the angle between horizontal line and line of sight nothing but the angle of depression so to understand again these things can go further both the angle of elevation and angle of depression at a time so one person is observing a helicopter which is above his height and observing the dog which is below his height so to to observe the helicopter he have to make the angle of elevation here angle of depression similarly if you observe this figure see if dog want to watch the chick a bird in the nest the dog have to elevate is high is i so it will makes angle of elevation with the horizontal similarly if bird want to observe the dog they have to make some angle which is called angle of depression because they have to depress a high to downwards on observe again so from the person is in the balloon here parachute here so parachute here if you want to observe the person who is standing here you have to make the angle of depression that means you have to see downwards which makes the angle of depression and the person standing here have to see the parachute here then you have to elevate his eye to upward then he makes the angle of elevation and moreover if you observe carefully this horizontal line and this horizontal line are parallel then these two angles are equal from this we can make the angle of elevation equals to angle of depression at same contact next okay let's take one example okay and i can take one example let the example be a tower at a substance at a substance at a stance vertically on the ground from a point on the ground from a point on the ground twenty meters away from the foot of the tower from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degrees what is the height of the tower what is the height of the tower so here observe the problem once the tower is standing vertically let ab be is the ab is the height of the tower standing vertically on the ground as a given from a point on the ground 20 meters away from the foot that means we have to take the point which is 20 meters away from the foot so let it be the point C which is 20 meters away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation so the angle of elevation from this point is 60 degrees of the top of the tower of the top of the tower that means from this point the angle of elevation is 60 degrees to observe the top of the tower which is A he is asking to find the height of the tower nothing but the length of the AB 
let it be x meters now observe that here the angle this is the opposite side and this will be the adjacent side so the formula including the opposite and adjacent side is tan theta or cot theta now i am considering tan theta that means tan opposite side by adjacent side here theta is 60 substitute theta 60 tan 60 equals to opposite side which is nothing but ab that means x adjacent side which is nothing but 20 meters distance between the foot of the tower and the point of 20 all of you know that value of tan 60 is root 3 that is equals to x by 20 bring 20 this side then it becomes x equals to 20 root 3 meters that means the height of the tower is nothing but 20 root 3 meters so this is the end of the session hope you enjoy it